Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can become a better user on your private trackers. So, straight away, we've got donation. You all knew that this was going to be on the list. Um, so, you can donate to your trackers, well, most of them. And this allows them to pay the bills but some of them also try to make a profit out of the private tracker. This will be um, IP torrents, torrent day, all the ones that are like that. Even though they are private trackers, they still make the money off of it. And that's frowned upon in the private tracker world. Um, you want to be careful, well you want to be choosy as well when you're donating because a lot of these websites do end up making their monthly uh, their monthly quota so you want to try and find one that has a hard time because that's where your money will matter most to those guys uh, you will get some perks and stuff when donating to the website so if you're struggling on a website you can always do that as well a seed box. A seed box is going to help you and the website. It's going to help the website because people are going to like the fact that you're they're going to get fast speeds. It's pretty simple. <laughs> um, it helps you because it allows you to keep a better ratio and you get more upload credit. You, you don't have to worry too much about um, Keeping your torrent seeding for a certain amount of time, you can set all that up within the uh, within the seed box. So it's recommended. Of course, you got to spend some money on it. They are fairly cheap, but uh, they're not uh, a requirement. Seed. <laughs> so whenever you download some it or upload some it. You want to seed it for as long as possible. The, uh, the file retention of a tracker, how long that is, how long something is being seeded for and staying alive before it dies off and there's no more seeds on that tra uh, torrent ever, is kind of a big issue with a lot of um, trackers. So, whenever you do download some it, or upload them at seed it for as long as you possibly can. In order to do this though, you will need some massive, massive hard drives. Archive. So, um, if you have some big hard drives, you can download a bunch of content and just keep seeding that content. Again, this ties into with uh, seeding, but this is more on a, uh, a bigger scale. I'm talking terabytes on terabytes of data. Um, I've seen a few trackers give a, uh, a rank to people that are doing this because they have um, so much stuff that they're going to download and just keep seeding for as long as possible, basically forever. So they uh, will end up getting a, uh, a bad ratio because they're downloading so much. That's why they get this special rank. So it, people will know that they have this bad ratio or they just um, disable the download credit that they're getting so they have a good ratio. But people will know once they see that rank that this person is helping the uh, the server by ar archiving all their content. So this website is H uh, Awesome HD. It's a uh, HD tracker, and uh, I'm talking about this one because I'm going to show you how they upload their content. So if you want to help out trackers, you know you you can upload content you know, uh, torrents to that tracker. But you want to make sure you do it in the correct way. So I've already uh, shown you how to do it 
on a different video. I'm not going to go into showing you how to create the tyrant in this video. What I'm going to talk about is once you've created the tyrant, what you should include on the on the page. So here we've got an image of the uh, the film. If we scroll down, we get a bit of information, some more information, and then we get some images. Now D zone. I'm not exactly sure that's how you say it, but uh, yeah. So this guy, he's a pretty good uh, encoder. So he gets the Blu-ray and then he makes an MKV out of it. He makes it into a smaller size, into a single video. And these are the images that you are seeing right now, which uh, are the Blu-ray Blu version and then his encode. So if you are going to encode something, it's always good to, uh, well, most of the time they require it to show the original, the source, it doesn't always have to be a Blu-ray, and then the final, um, the final content, the final movie, TV show, whatever. And then if we scroll down, we get uh, the media info. Now, if you don't know, you can get this, or this information, from a program called Media Info. <laughs> and it just tells you all the information about the movie but I'm not talking about um, what is the movie about I'm talking about the the file the quality uh, how many different audio tracks it's got how many uh, different subtitles it's got you know what are they in are they in English you know and all this stuff and it tells you bits of other information and you can customize it to uh, show more or less some uh, websites do require you to keep it the basic one others require the full some don't require any but it's nice to include it so if we continue to scroll down we get information about the movie now, now this uh, website automatically does all this so uh, the uploader doesn't need to uh, type all of this out but if you're on a different website you might want to include as much information as possible to make it look good and finally we have a trailer again if the tracker allows you to do it post the trailer uh, no end of times I see a torrent on a website and it's just got the name very basic information no images, no screenshots, doesn't tell you anything about the movie or the TV show. And I just think, oh my god, <laughs> I want to just go to a different website. So um, when you do upload some content, make sure you uh, you get as much information on there as possible. Some websites do require this. Uh, like uh, Awesome HD, I believe they require free screenshots. And when doing screenshots, you should always save them in PNG. The uh, PNG is uh, a lossless format. Also, when creating the dot .torrent, you want to make sure that you do not include files like the screenshots or the info file. All that stuff can be um, put onto the torrent page instead of into the torrent itself. Most people do not like to see these files within the torrent. They don't like to see the info within the torrent. They don't use these files. They can always get the, uh, the info or the screenshots from the actual movie itself quite easily. So what you want to do is just include the movie or the TV show, keep it minimal within the torrent. Remember, people have got to keep this stuff on their PC at all times, and sometimes they just don't want some of that content, they just want the movie. So, here we are now on Anime Bytes. I'm going to have to uh, black out some of this. 
but uh, if you want to help out a tracker what you should do is go onto their forums read some stuff post some stuff create new threads just make sure that the forum is active it's a nice community and you're helping people out there's not much more to say on that just go onto the forums and post but don't spam now here you can see uh, a thread that someone else has created now you could always help this guy out and uh, you know give him points because uh, what this thread is is basically if you've never uploaded you can upload to anime bytes and this guy will send you some points it kind of like a thank you for uh, uploading to the tracker. I've seen this on a few trackers. The um, the one that we just seen, Awesome HD. They have one on there, but it's a little bit different than this one. I believe this is only the first time that you upload a torrent, while Anime by um, no Anime by it's uh, Awesome HD. They give you points, or well, someone on the forum does, give you points every single time you make a new upload as long as it, re it meets their requirements. So if the, the work tracker that you're trying to help out doesn't have one of these, you can always make one yourself or you can give some points to this guy to help him out to, um, to make sure that this is always continuing on so more users upload onto their tr uh, onto the site more content is on there it helps out everyone now handbrake um, you can uh, become an encoder like we've seen on awesome HD D zone you can become someone like him you can get the Blu-ray or the uh, or a Remux or something like that. You can get high quality, and then you can encode it to a lower quality, and that is now your encode. Instead of having D Zone, you'll have your name or your uh, group. Now, Handbrake can do this, but it's not recommended. The reason why Handbrake is not recommended is because it produces uh, lower quality than some other ways uh, of encoding. Uh, you need to find a good guide in order to uh, produce some good quality encodes. Awesome HD is a fantastic place for doing that. The guys on there, the professional encoders, should I say, they are quite friendly and more than willing to uh, help you become an encoder they are always looking for more and more people to encode stuff even though we just seen on awesome hd they have quite a few they're always looking for more but uh, you want to uh, use something different than handbrake to produce high quality stuff and last but not least is the style of the website. If you can't really help in any other way, you can create some uh, styles for the website. And it might help other people, they might use it. Me personally, I've created a few uh, styles for a few websites and people do use them. They say thank you and everything. While it's not exactly helping as much as the other ways, still does help basically anything that you do on the tracker can help the tracker so just do as much as you can it, I, I more than likely have missed a few things from this list if I have and you think of something post it in the comments below and uh, hopefully we can get a nice list of how to become a good user some people will think, oh, I don't need to do all this stuff. I'm already a good user. Well, yes, you, you may be a good user if you are just sticking to the rules, keeping a good ratio. 
there's no harm in becoming a better user. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos. In order to do with torrents, that's it for this one guys. Stay safe, have a good one.